All right, guys, Tony here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a problem. I have a grow bed, a black cinder that is um, backing up. So I just want to show you what it looks like, guys. You take out my, check out my grow bed here, guys. So I got my water flowing, as you can see. Check it out, the grow bed fills it with water. So usually, sometimes this happens on aquaponics. I mean, yeah, it's hard to maintain, guys, so you guys can see. Um, it's like that, it's supposed to look like this, where you don't see it, see the water filling up and dropping. Why don't you look down, so here's my drain for the grow bed. And you can see the drain is constantly flowing, the water is constantly flowing to the drain. So what I do usually here guys, I take a, I have a stick, I take, I have a PVC stick, it's pretty long, and right here's my siphon. So you can see my siphon, so what I do is I take the stick, and then I push this through, you can see, push it through and then like aim it at that siphon area, stick it around and then you can go ahead and put some more through. Then you can also move around the grow bed like this. So you gotta do guys. So you gotta break some of the roots up and allow the black center to clear up a little spot so that it can go over to the siphon area okay see just make sure you don't hit this siphon right here make sure you don't hit the siphon and break that you can also poke next to it if you guys are scared down next to it see you can see the the dirt moving you know, create a little hole here so usually I do this every couple months when I have a problem. So you leave this like this, what happens is the water comes out from here and then flows out. And then you either run out of water in your sump or, and then your fish will die. So I had that happen to me recently. My fish died on the, some of them died on the sump because they, the water ran out. But yeah, put it like that. Then you can also see down here this is my um, bell siphon. So take them out. Check out the water down there, guys. It's full. See, that's what it looks like. That's the adjustment for my water. Here's my bell siphon I have. I made this. You guys check out my other videos for bell siphons. So what I usually do is I just, so you can see the water's dirty now. So I take this up, fill it up, and bring it over to the bell siphon. And then I just, Put them right down there. See that? Once I did that, you can hear it all like trying to flow out. See? The water in the siphon all went down. See that? Now it's draining. Check out my water down here. See it's drying up. Then also you have your flow here. So if it's too fast, you guys just lower it down. I recommend every week you just go here and see how it turned it off. You just turn it on and so that all, sometimes it gets clogged up, turn it on, then you can um, tune it back down a little bit, same thing with this, look, see it's flowing really slow, just turn them up to clean them out, then just lower them a little bit, alright guys, so that's a couple tips there for your grow bed, see now my grow bed's dry, that's the way you want it, you want it like that, and then I adjusted my flow, see like this one, it's flowing too much, so I can adjust it back down. And then see how the water is building up. So I take my stick and I'll hit him again. Try to make it go that way toward the dull siphon. Make little slots in the black cinder. I use black cinder. Found that it works really well. It's because the um, Clay balls are pretty expensive. I don't know, I think they're like $30 a bag. Blackson is only like $6 at Home Depot. And video's not sponsored by the way, guys. That's it, that's what I do. See the water's draining now. Then over here, the water drained down. That's what I do to keep my bell siphons clean, guys. Then didn't have any luck on tomatoes, but now I got tomatoes growing in here in the aquaponics. And I got ginger. And check out my tomatoes, guys. 
I'm gonna tie it with a string and hang them up so that the tomato will grow. These are my peppers. Got some Hawaiian chili peppers and some super chilies. And this is Tabasco pepper. All right, guys. And then there's my dragon fruit growing down there, rooting those, and there's my other peppers. So I just water them with the um, water from my aquaponics from this from this um, swirl filter. All right, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for all the subscribers out there. If you got any friends, recommend my channel. This is what it looks like. My garden, my manoa lettuce is still growing. You notice they started to bolt. Um, so they're growing tall like this. But um, as soon as it cools down, I'll be more successful. So what I do with these, I just grow them up like this. If I don't eat them before they bolt, uh, feed them to the fish down there. That's my tilapias down in the my sump tank. If you guys got any questions, check out my other videos for aquaponic setups. And hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys.